Hey guys, Jimmy. Welcome back to our Vascular Sonography Registry Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question if you don't have time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive back into this thing. What does this image demonstrate? A. Aortic dissection. B. Normal EVAR. C. Obstructed graft. Or D. Endoleak. The answer is D, endoleak. A patient returns to the hospital 24 hours after receiving an EVTA with symptoms of dyspnea. What can you expect to find? A, endothermal heat-induced thrombus. B, ulcerated skin in the surgical site. C, endovascular leak. Or D, lower extremity limb ischemia. The answer is A, endothermal heat-induced thrombus. Which vessel forms the left innominate vein? A, left subclavian vein and the left inferior vena cava. B, left subclavian vein and the right subclavian vein. C, left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian vein. Or is it D, the left internal jugular vein and the right internal jugular vein? The answer is C, the left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian vein. The subclavian artery image on the left shows a patient with their arm at rest, while the image on the right shows their arm abducted. Which below can best explain the change in appearance? A, Paget shoulder syndrome, B, thoracic outlet syndrome, C, claudication, or D, subclavian steel syndrome. This image here, is with their arm at rest, and this image shows their arm abducted. The answer is B, thoracic outlet syndrome. A patient returns to the hospital three days after receiving an EVAR with signs of kidney failure. What can you expect to find? A. Occluded EVAR B. Ruptured AAA C. Migrated EVAR or D. Stenotic EVAR The answer is C. Migrated EVAR a patient with Bud Chiari syndrome breathes in. What will happen to blood flow in the main portal vein in relation to the hepatic vein? A. Portal vein will decrease in the hepatopetal direction and the hepatic vein will decrease in the hepatofugal direction. B. Portal vein will decrease in the hepatofugal direction and the hepatic vein will increase in the hepatopetal direction. C. Portal vein will decrease in the hepatofugal direction and the hepatic vein will decrease in the hepatopetal direction, or is it D, portal vein will increase in the hepatofugal direction, and the hepatic vein will increase in the hepatopetal direction. The answer is C. Portal vein will decrease in the hepatofugal direction and hepatic vein will decrease in the hepatopetal direction. The carotid image shows a high risk of what? A. Subclavian still, B. Pulmonary embolism, C. Cerebrovascular accident, or D. Hemorrhage.
The answer is C, cerebral vascular accident or CVA or stroke. Click on the right common femoral artery. The answer is right here. This is the common femoral artery. This is the femoral vein, and this is the saphenofemoral junction. What does the common iliac artery branch from? A, external iliac artery, B, abdominal aorta, C, internal iliac artery, or D, common femoral artery. The answer is B, abdominal aorta. This patient's posterior tibial artery was imaged distal to an occlusion. What happened to make the colored Doppler on the left look like the colored Doppler on the right? A, collateral blood flow increased. B, cardiac output increased. C, the vessel is no longer occluded. Or D, PRF decreased. So what happened to make this image look like this image? This image was taken first, followed by this one. This waveform is from the same vessel. The answer is D, PRF decreased, because you can see that this vessel here doesn't have a completely filled in vessel with color Doppler, and this one is completely filled in. And the way you do that is decrease your PRF. What is a patient most at risk with an EVAR migration? A, AAA rupture, B, the graft embolizing, C, endoleak, or D, limb ischemia? The answer is A, triple A rupture. Click on the left innominate vein. The answer is right here. What will cause an EVAR migration? A, when a triple A increases in size. B, tissue rejection infection. C, endovascular leak. Or D, after a thrombus or stenosis develops. The answer is C, endovascular leak. What is the PPV equation in this image? A, 32 divided by 32 plus 31. B, 32 divided by 32 plus 9. C, 8 divided by 8 minus 9. Or is it D, 31 divided by 31 minus 32? The answer is A, 32 divided by 32 plus 31. What forms the axillary vein? A, cephalic vein and the basilic vein. B, subclavian vein and the internal jugular vein. C, brachial veins and the basilic vein. Or D, brachial veins and the cephalic vein. The answer is C, brachial veins and the basilic vein. If you're looking to purchase monkey exams, go to my website, ultrasoundboardreview.com, or type in Google Ultrasound Board Review.
click the top link, click enter the pass zone, scroll down until you see vascular sonography mock exams. Click on it, scroll down, and then click subscribe. Or if you're looking for more of a one-on-one -on -one vascular sonography tutoring, go back to that first page, scroll down until you see vascular sonography tutoring. Click on it, scroll down, and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with UltrasoundPortive.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.